Hi, this is Janet with Paper and Spark. Welcome to part three of the video tutorial series for your PayPal seller spreadsheet version 2.0. In part one, I walked through an overview of what the spreadsheet does and how to import your activity download from PayPal. In part two, we walked through how to enter all your expenses into the spreadsheet. And now in part three, we're going to briefly talk about how your spreadsheet deals with sales taxes. Now, sales taxes are all in these three blue rows down here, which have some helpful totals regarding your sales tax collected via PayPal. All the totals you see here are going to automatically tabulate after you've imported the activity download each month from PayPal. It's important to remember that the amounts that you see here only represent your in-state sales and your sales tax collected from PayPal sales. So if you sell via any other source, you need to make sure to include those sales on your sales tax forms. Just PayPal is here, just PayPal. First, let's take a look at the last row here called sales tax collected. This is just pulling how much you've collected from your customers for sales tax on PayPal. So if you take a look at any of your activity downloads that you imported, and you scroll over to the sales tax column, it's simply just totaling anything that's in column T, your sales tax. That's what this row is doing here. So something important to note about these totals is it's what you told PayPal to charge. So it's not necessarily what you're going to end up remitting to the state or calculating on your sales tax form because we don't know if you did it right. Um, and we don't know if you're going to include more than just what you collected via PayPal. So if this doesn't tie to what you calculate on your sales tax form, don't freak out. The first and second rows here are your in-state sales with shipping included and without shipping included. Now when I say shipping, I mean shipping received to you, okay? Shipping received by you. Some states do charge sales tax on shipping received and some states do not. So I've included both totals here. So whichever type of state you're in, you have the number that you need. Now, this info is all just a starter for what you might need to complete your state sales tax forms. Each state asks for different information, so you'll probably be asked for other amounts that aren't here, like your total sales to all customers or taxable purchases. Um, you might be asked for some stuff about use tax or whatever. It's up to you to figure out exactly what you need for your state and I've got some good information about how to get started, what questions you should be asking in the PDF instructions for the spreadsheet so you can check those out there. So that pretty much wraps up everything you need to know about your PayPal seller spreadsheet. Every month you should make it your goal to sit down, import your activity download into the spreadsheet, and enter your expense receipts. I'd really suggest entering those expense receipts on your expense tabs on a weekly basis um, or monthly depending on how much you spend each month. If you keep the spreadsheet consistently updated, then you can use it throughout the year for all sorts of useful stuff like comparing your sales and your expenses from month to month. You can use it to set sales goals. Um, you can budget for a big future expense like a piece of equipment. Um, and you can file your sales tax forms monthly or quarterly. Note that the spreadsheet um, we're looking at the 2016 one right now. It uses dated formulas, so you'll want to make sure that you're using the correct version each year and not just opening a blank copy of the previous year's spreadsheet because then it will not work. On a related note, if you like this spreadsheet but you're looking for more help dealing with inventory specifically, um, things like pricing your items, figuring how much every finished good costs you to create, calculating profit margins, um, dealing with ending inventory for your tax return at year end, then I suggest you check out my inventory cost and pricing spreadsheet, which is also available at paperandspark.com. 
Thanks for purchasing the spreadsheet and hanging out with me through these videos. I hope you find this to be a really helpful tool for your business. And if you have any questions about it, you can feel free to email me at paperandspark at gmail.com. Thank you.